Welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, October 8th, and you can see uh, some birds heading south for the winter. But uh, for the next three days, anyways, very warm and humid conditions right on through Wednesday with scattered thunderstorms. And then as we get into Wednesday afternoon, a, a pretty good area of rain and thunderstorms will move through the area, and that could uh, drop a pretty good amount of rainfall. Right now, we don't expect severe weather, but we'll keep an eye on that. And then colder weather coming in by uh, the weekend with maybe some frost on Saturday morning and temperatures down in the mid-30s at least. And you can see yesterday across the area, we had those low clouds, drizzle, light rain, just kind of a miserable day all around. But uh, today it'll be much warmer this afternoon with maybe some breaks in the sunshine. It'll feel quite summer-like out with dew points in the 60s over the next few days. Our normal high is 61. And again, we'll be up around 81. So we'll be 15 to 20 degrees above normal today, our normal low of 41. And you can see back on this date, though, it was pretty warm in 2007. For today and tomorrow, both were record highs of 90 degrees. And if we look at yesterday in the Breckenridge area, we had a high of 56, a low of 50. Just two hundredths of an inch of rainfall yesterday gives us a storm total of 45 hundredths of an inch. Much more rain across the northwestern sections of the area. And if we look at the sunrise this morning at 743, it'll set tonight at 706. And we lost nine minutes of daylight just since Friday. So we continue to plug through the uh, fall months and we're on our way towards winter. And it won't be long before we'll be talking four-letter word maybe even sooner than you think. And if we look at conditions this morning, temperatures mainly the low to mid 50s across the central areas. Southern areas are in the upper 50s, a warm spot 59 at Blissfield, cool spot Lakeview at 51 degrees. As far as precipitation since midnight, you can see there's been a little bit across the area, but as you get to the west, look at Nuego, just under an inch of rain just since midnight and an inch and three quarters here over the last couple of days. And they've had quite a bit of rainfall here over the last week. And if we look at satellite view, you can see Hurricane Michael that'll be uh, making a move into the central uh, gulf, and then it'll move up towards the, uh, actually it'll probably make landfall somewhere around the central panhandle of Florida. So especially areas just to the east of that track, again, all the way down to, uh, well, north of Tampa Bay, but the, this area here across Florida certainly could be under the gun for some pretty nasty weather here as we head towards uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And you can see all the showers and thunderstorms developing off to our south and west. Again, most of it's been from around Kalamazoo up towards Clare to the northwest. That's where most of the rain has. But uh, we're eventually going to see that front move to the east as the main wave of low pressure system uh, pressure moves up that front. And once it gets past us, it'll sweep that cold front through. And that's what's also going to pick up this hurricane. And as we get into uh, Tuesday, it's going to begin to rapidly move to the northeast and then off into the Atlantic over the next couple of days. But again, it looks like plenty of rainfall across much of the Great Lakes area here over the next uh, couple of days. You can see on radar this morning, I think we're going to have to watch the scattered activity if we're going to catch much in the way of, in the MAC area here over the next 12 hours. After that, it'll be quite scattered with that warm and humid conditions. Again, the heaviest rain will continue to fall in Wisconsin, the UP, where a number of uh, flash flood and flood advisories uh, watches and warnings are in effect. And if we look at the weather map this morning, you can see that big area of uh, heavy rainfall all the way from uh, southwest Texas, all the way up into Wisconsin, into the UP. And as we move the uh, maps to uh, tomorrow, you can see not a whole lot of eastward progress with that front. And again, severe storms and heavy rains all the way from the UP back into Texas. But finally, by Wednesday, as high pressure begins to try to press in this area, we're going to see uh, that low pressure system in front get close enough where I think we got a good chance of heavy rain and thunderstorms and by later on we expect that front to sweep through as we get into uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning and you can see a darn right snowstorm just to the northwest of Lake Superior and again our Hurricane Michael heading for the uh, uh, Florida Panhandle where it could uh, create all kinds of problems down there and you can see from the National Hurricane Center, the 4 a.m. update, shows that uh, hurricane from between Guantanamo Bay and Yucatan. And again, that's going to continue to move to the north into the Gulf and then sweep well off to the east as we get it by late week or next weekend. As far as the precipitation across the area, you can see uh, plentiful pre precipitation across much of the area, but the heaviest amounts will definitely be uh, the further north and west you go across the Great Lakes. But again, plenty of rainfall, 1.7, 1.9 in the Alamo, uh, Mount Pleasant area uh, forecasted over the next seven days. And some of that will include some rain as we get into next Saturday. But much drier conditions are finally going to head this way along with the cold air. And we've been talking about that for about a uh, week to 10 days. That as we got towards the middle of the month, we'd start to see colder temperatures. And that would eventually help to dry us out. And that's what we expect here. 
as we get into the 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlook. So next week should be a really good week for harvesting as it looks right now. Certainly it could change. This is Michigan, but better news as far as the weather goes uh, for next week. And our forecast, again, we'll have temperatures uh, this morning rapidly rise once that fog lifts and we'll see the warm front well off to our north. Temperatures will soar up to around 80, dew points in the 60s. And tomorrow, low to mid 80s with dew points well into the 60s. We could see some heat indexes across southern lower Michigan approach 90 degrees. And then we'll still continue to be warm on uh, uh, Wednesday with temperatures around 80. But again, a better chance of thunderstorms will come in as we get into Wednesday. Humid all three days. Mainly, again, scatter storms today and tomorrow, more widespread on Wednesday, and then colder air comes in with maybe even a little bit of frost as we get towards Saturday morning as lows could drop down into the mid, maybe even low 30s in some spots, and we may even see a couple of wet snowflakes Friday night, early Saturday morning across interior portions of northern lower Michigan. We'll see how that pans out. And finally, the Breckenridge Elementary School's weather station hopefully will be online uh, this is uh, certainly going to see more uh, changes in the web page, but overall this is the basic look right now. And again, hopefully sometime this week this will be sending live data out to the uh, web, and uh, we'll let you know when that happens. Thanks for stopping by, and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.